everything that's going on right now. Time is relative, so now could be another time for you. All right, so um, I ask that it's always energy I'm tapping into because we're all connected and um, that it's always for the highest, greatest good of everybody involved. All right, so that it's coming from a source of unconditional love to bring us better clarity and understanding into our situations. And since this is a love reading, I'm going to guess that the women watching are interested in knowing a little bit more about what is going on in the love department. So let's see if I can be helpful. Now, it might resonate with you. It might not. Either way is okay. As long as what it may do if you watch is maybe if it taps into your gut. Not what I say. I'm just throwing out feelings and things that I come up with as to what the, you know, the symbolism and the energy and the feelings I get and the things are going on. So if something sparks something in you, in your gut, that's where your truth lies and that's where your answer is. So I'm just maybe a signpost to help you get there. You know, you can use it or you can ignore it. You know, it's, it's, your intuition's there to tap into whether you use it or not. So, Mannix is very good at tapping into his intuition. Yes. All right. I need I need a break so I can do the card for a minute. Okay. Let's see what will be helpful for women. For relationships, love, intimacy. That's the crucible. So you got a bird in a cage and one that's free. The one in the cage looks sad. Like he's trapped or she's trapped. Maybe that's a part of yourself that's trapped that you just want to let out and be free. So maybe that's a mirror of yourself, the part you want to see. Or maybe you feel like somebody in your life is trapped and you want to let them out. You want to let them know what it's like to fly. Maybe someone in your life has never flown. Maybe you've never flown. And you're looking around and seeing these birds fly around. And you're like, I want to fly. Why do they get to fly and I don't get to fly? All right. So then I have this, which means love yourself. So maybe that bird is just an illusion or maybe he does see other birds maybe he has the way out for himself maybe the way out is to start here it's always this way this is always the way out you always have to start with loving yourself looking inside yourself to find that that abundant rose in your own heart unfolding right so even here you have the seagull flying high above the rose you have the moon in the background some storm clouds in the background but that seagull will move through all that it'll go through the darkness it'll go through the thunder clouds and it's always able to fly not if you keep your heart locked up in a cage or not if someone else has your heart locked up in a cage you can't fly free then all right so then we have fear of love. All right, so maybe women right now are having a hard time breaking out of their cage. Or maybe the guy that they are currently involved with, interested in, or coming into their life, or wants to come into their life, is maybe these are the issues. Either you or him are not loving yourself first, or you're just fearing love, which is also not loving yourself first. You know, love is nothing to fear. The only thing about love that is to fear is not having love. Because this crow can fly right through that storm. Friend, well, let's see what that is. That's the sun, it's the wind. And that's friendship. 
So maybe this came up for the men too. So maybe both men and women need to, looks like men need to get a little courage. Maybe women need to get over their fear. Maybe this fear is keeping their men feeling like they're trapped in a cage. You know, maybe you have to be friends because friends don't have that fear because they just are open with each other. They just trust each other. You know, you just know that your friend, if you don't see them for a while, and then maybe if you call them again, they go out and get new friends. Or maybe they did, but they're still your friend. There's a trust there. Friendship starts simple. Starts with getting to know somebody first before you are presumptuous about, you know, maybe maybe get to know them first before you put them in a cage, okay? Maybe, ladies, we need to start by loving yourself. Love yourself abundantly. Know you're beautiful. Know that there is nobody in the world like you. Nobody in the world like you. So, for a man to come into your life, or I guess, you know, ladies reading, whatever you want, whatever is your thing, for love to come into your life, okay, to get through the storms and to feel like you're flying free, you want to give that feeling to the person you're with too. You don't want the person you're with to feel like being with you feels like being in a cage or being with you feels like they're in a storm all the time. You know, people want to be with that person that's just kind of always happy with being with themselves. They're happy with who they are first. When you're happy and confident with who you are, you don't feel the need to put somebody in a cage. You don't want to be in a cage. So why would you want to put someone else in the cage? You want them to feel like they're free to do whatever they want to. But how do you do that? when you have so much fear that maybe you'll lose the love. You know, if you don't put them in a cage, maybe the wind's gonna come and blow your love away. Maybe it's better to just lock it in a box and look at it from afar. What you think? Lock your, lock your love up in a box, put your heart in a box and don't open yourself up? Or try to lock the person you love in a box so they can't love anyone else or love their life or love anything else because you want it to be what you see in the box. We are lovers in a Barbie doll, Barbie Ken doll, you know. It's love. It's free. It's abundant and it's everywhere. It's in holding the door when you go to the store for somebody else. You know, it's not just intimacy. So... You have to let go of your fear by loving yourself enough to maybe start slow so you can trust somebody. Take it like you would with a friend. You don't meet a friend and then plan your marriage or plan like, you know, bah! or maybe you do plan a cool vacation and stuff. It's okay to have fun, like jump into friendship. You know, then timings, whatever. It doesn't matter. But it's Allowing somebody to come into your life and to be open to them seeing who we really are. The delicate butterfly and the delicate flower are delicate with each other and they need each other. The butterfly needs the flower and the flower needs the butterfly. You know, if you put something in a box, eventually the wind just will come and sweep it away. Or it's going to jump out of the box and run away from you. So don't put your love in a box or cage. Don't put your heart in a box. Open yourself up to love. Open yourself up to who you are and what you want. Do it slowly. Apparently men and women not, need not to be rushing into big plans right away when we meet somebody. Just start slow. This, they got two, fullness. The two birds flying. All right, so before it was loving yourself and you have this one seagull flying possibly into a storm but unfolding like a rose there's layers and layers and layers maybe the rose is thorns 
It's beautiful and it has an essence to it. So now there's two birds flying in freedom with the same heartbeat. It's like they're connected. Like I said in the beginning, we're all connected. So perhaps unlock, unlock the love you want to put away in a cage. Maybe if you get a chance in a new relationship, don't give it rules. Don't give it restrictions. Give who you're with freedom. Love yourself enough to know that you're awesome. You're awesome. So they should want to spend some awesome time with you. And if they don't, they're free to go. And that's good for you because then that opens what's good for you to come in. And it's not what's locked in a box. It's something that's connected to two heartbeats. Because when you emotionally connect with somebody and spiritually, it's like the same heartbeat, the same source of love. The same source is fueling both of you to have your own freedom. You can fly together, or one can fly around the world by themselves for a little bit and come back together. Let's see what else we have going on. Transfiguration. And a new beginning, which is what I got for the guys. So that's good. So bringing together the opposites. Okay, look at these. Show freedom in your new beginning. Give that freedom to somebody else that you would want. The same freedom you would want so that nobody feels bound. Okay? And give that a chance. Give it a try. Maybe it'll work. You know, maybe don't, don't insist you know everything that a new person does in your new beginning. Let them fly free and you fly free and allow your heart to guide you. This is taking transfiguration. Look at, they're looking at the birds flying. There, we got all these seagulls. So the man and the woman together embracing inequality, staring at the sunset that's huge upon them, balancing each other, standing on their own. And transfiguration is change, becoming something new with somebody else. By seeing your reflection in somebody else, you grow and become something beautiful and strong together. There's a new beginning coming. So grow from this. Like a hug. Let someone go. Hug them and let them go. Let them swim on their own. Let them fly on their own, and you fly on your own, and then together you'll soar. Okay, I gotta cut this short, so I'm gonna end with something to help you. Alright, and I brought the conflict, superficiality, and harmony, love and peace. Okay, so... Love for the right reasons. Don't love to have. Don't love to be seen. Don't love because it's what you think everyone else wants you to do. Don't be superficial in your love. Look deeper than the surface. Look deeper than the chess game put above you. That's just a game. Harmony comes from inside. Looking past the checker game at the end of the hallway and opening that door to your heart. The heart is where harmony is, okay? So don't get lost in the game. Don't get lost in the rules, okay? Those are rules made by somebody else. Go within your heart. Listen to the person you're with. Listen to the man you're with. Listen to each other. Listen to your differences and where you came from and why you feel the way you do. And find harmony in that. Harmony in your differences. Harmony in your different frequencies. Harmony in love and peace. Okay, I hope that was helpful.